Hello and welcome back to another episode of Besiege. Today I'm showing you how to build a catapult. Wow, exciting, I know. So this is the general design I've come up with. It looks a bit complicated right now, but I'm going to break it down for you. The main components you need to remember with the catapult are the hinge and the springs. They're the two main components that you'll always need to use. So I'm just going to demonstrate this machine there we go and as you can see it's quite long range took out the tower and all but one of the little guys that guy survived somehow <sighs> just good luck I assume okay and I'm gonna show you how to build it now I uh, know this has a lot of armor on it um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take off all of the armor because I usually just use that for structural stability I don't know if it's needed but I just like to have it so let's just take all of it off and then I'll be able to show it to you better. And there we go, that is this machine without any of the armor on it. And as you can see it's quite simple, it's just a, a long a wide ba a long and wide base to make it more stable followed by a sort of a pivot here which allows this this arm with the uh, actual bomb on it to uh, move back and forth or up and up and down up and down yeah probably that's it up and down it allows the arm to move up and down that's it oh my gosh I cannot think today and these are the springs that the contractible springs that allow the actual um, mechanism to function so I'll show you it right now so as soon as I start it these start pulling on it but the hinge moves back this might break I'm not sure because without the armor it's not as stable there we go so the hinge broke but it still works this, so this is the general design when you make it you might want to put some armor on it just to make it um, less likely to break essentially um, so start out with your singular central central block then I went out uh, three of the wooden blocks which are sort of the double single blocks that, that, that again terribly explained so it's basically six of the small blocks or three of the large ones and then just two of the large ones or four of the small blocks so basically four sections uh, on each side and then I connected them with I think they're called the bra braces I connected them with the braces to make that more secure as well then I went four sections up and uh, attached a hinge and I made sure that when I attached the hinge that it was facing the right way and if it's facing the wrong way like this press R to um, make it face the right way and if you've already placed it press is it F there is a key that you can use to change it but I don't know what it is right now but I assure you there is one but it's easier just to press X delete it and then press R to rotate it around to the right position and I've just broken it and then after that I had a single block on top and then on this side I put it three out three sections out three small wooden blocks out and then one two three four five six blocks out the other direction so in total that is six seven eight nine ten blocks along and then on the, this far side, connect the springs to the end and connect them to the first and second blocks. So put two springs on. You can put more on to increase power, but if anything, that's going to make the entire mechanism more likely to snap off because it's quite it's, this, this part snaps off quite often anyways. So if anything, just attach two springs. That's quite a good power because you get that much. You get a... Uh, oh, that's really far zoomed out. You get that much range out of it just with the two you get to the uh, little keep and then on the very end place um, the holder and place just place a bomb in it and then place braces along the sides and top of this arm to increase the structural integrity of it now that is the basic of how this catapult works it's quite a basic one um, you, you can see the more complex ones that people make using pistons and such but I didn't do that and then I came up with this because I thought it was quite easy um, so yeah you just use L to uh, fire the ball and as you can see the arm came off that time but 
you destroy the entire castle. It's really quite devastating. I'm going to load up a world here, and I will show you it in action. Be right back. And we're back. I'm testing this out, and I think it's it's one of the keeps. It's level. No, okay. I'm not going to check. I'm sorry. I'll probably I'll put I'll put it in the uh, the video what what level it is. Um, and it's quite far away. The archers can still hit it because they have a ridiculously long range. But I'm just going to demonstrate its power right now. I'm just going to demonstrate its power this time. Okay, there's going to be a lot of fails in this video. They keep shooting it out of the air. Stop shooting it. There we go. Perfect. And look at that devastation wrought by this catapult. I mean, there's not much left of it. It's sort of a single use. But uh, look at that. That, that Remember, was there a glorious tower? There's one archer who still thinks that he can defeat me. But no. But yeah, as you can see, that's the catapult. Uh, if you thought it was good... Uh, like the video, comment what you want to see next, or uh, yeah, a specific thing I can build, or any improvements I can make. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.